वट इज अप पीपल वेलकम टू अनादर पॉडकास्ट अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ दिस पॉडकास्ट ऑफ दिस सीरीज दैट हैव रिसेंटली लॉन्च वे वी टॉक अबाउट ह्यूमन बिहेवियर वी टॉक अबाउट वाई वी डू वॉट वी डू वी टॉक अबाउट थिंग्स दैट आर अ लिल ट्रिकी फॉर द ह्यूमन माइंड एंड इन दिस एपिसोड we talk about elephants we talk about what your elephant is i'll quickly jump to the episode and um um where i'll explain what this title means and i'll explain what it means to have an elephant in your life so let's get to it why does it why have to can't be this? we do that understand why this do we have like, you get it? to do that is this why we I don't do what we do why is this why this needs to happen why does that it have way? to be this i mean it's just ridiculous so like the last podcast this podcast too i'm going to begin with a story and i'm going to elaborate more on that story right so we'll keep it interesting here goes the story i have a friend she um a regular human being uh things make her happy things make her sad like any typical emotions that we as human beings go through but something very peculiar about her is elephants make her happy looking at them just looking at elephants from a distance not going and playing with them not baby elephants it's just grown huge elephants just looking at them makes her happy so the first time she told us this right the first time she told us time she told us this it just seemed like something very illogical right like how could you be feeling so happy just by looking at an elephant or a group of elephants right and it just seemed very very illogical at that point of time until we started diving deeper into it so we started asking her questions about you know what it is in an elephant that you think um you find or you think you like looking at that makes you happy is it the way an elephant moves is it the size of the elephant is it because you find elephant formidable is it um because ele- elephants are slow or what is it that you see in an elephant that makes you so fascinated by it that you're happy is it just fascination or is it something else and all she had uh to tell about her her uh, feeling for an elephant is just that it made her happy an elephant made her happy just looking at an elephant made her happy right and she couldn't quite put um any logic to it she couldn't actually define as to what that she sees in an elephant that makes her happy she couldn't really put a finger on it right so we started asking questions asking her more and more questions until we came to a point where we actually took her to a place where there are elephants and um not as part of study or anything we were out and we took her to a place where uh there were actually elephants and then we saw her expression and it was just sheer happiness we came back and then we started this discussion around is there something in our lives that make us so happy it could be a person it could be a thing it could be um an object or it could be just another emotion or just another feeling that makes you so happy and there could be no logical connection between them like it is for her with an elephant right so there's just apparently there's just no logical connection as to why she feels so happy looking at an elephant um this illogical uh way of happiness could be connected to multiple uh smaller feelings right so could be a mixture of how cute she finds an elephant to be could be a mixture of that with 
um, add add that add an element of um, excitement towards looking at something like this. Add um, that with another uh, feeling of um, you know how huge this animal is right so it could just be a mixture of multiple things but at the end of the day it's that one perfect combination of small little feelings that when put together generates immense amount of happiness to you in your lives have that one thing or that one person one object one intention one goal that makes you so happy. One place that makes you so happy. We started asking these questions to ourselves. And when I, after I spoke to her, after I, I saw her being extremely happy just by looking at an elephant, right? So I started pondering over this. I started asking around. I started asking people what your elephant is. Do we really have that elephant? That's something that I want to leave you guys uh, to think about with this podcast. Do we have that one thing, one place, one person, one object, one um, emotion, one feeling or a mixture of feelings when put together a situation Maybe when, when you get to that situation, when you get into that situation or when the situation happens to you, do you feel extremely happy and so much that you are not able to logically justify why you're so happy? Turns out in psychology, um, from a psychological perspective, there are things, there are things that make you happy. Like happiness at the end of the day is, um, it's, we, we are human and our human happiness is an emotion and emotion comes out of human brain and human brain is, um, controlled by hormones, right? So there is, there is certain situations, certain people, certain things that we see or feel or, you know, hear or smell, things of that nature that, that we consume out of our senses. Um, certain th uh, things that we consume from our senses trigger those happy hormones in us, in our, inside our brains. So it is good food for thought for all of us and all of you guys listening to this podcast. It's extremely good exercise, I think, in my opinion, to start thinking from a sensory point of view, what senses do we use the most and what senses trigger what sort of reaction in general, typically within us, right? So you would start identifying some patterns, visual uh, senses, things that you see, for example, could make you really, really happy or things that you see could actually make you very irritated. For some people, listening to things makes them really, really irritated. It could be the demographic that you're in. It could just be the people you're surrounded by. It could be a lot of things like there could be just multiple factors. But then thinking in this direction, heading in this direction would give you a lot of clarity about what senses you use the most and what senses give you what emotions, give you what feelings. And from there on, you can start to analyze what it is that actually makes you really, really happy. Do we want that thing? Is it something that we really aspire to have? Is it something that we really want to achieve? Is it a goal that we really want to get at? What is it that makes us happy? Is it someone that we want to be with? Is it something that we want to hold? Is it something that we want to, um, you know, just taste? Could be food that we want to taste, right? So think in that direction. And um, once we start thinking in that direction is when um, we will start to realize that there are things around us which could actually make us really, really happy. Just that we have to start 
looking for them. As for my friend, she's already found her elephant. As for me, I know what my elephant is. Do we all have our elephants? I believe we absolutely do. My question to you is, have you identified your elephant? What's your elephant and why do you need your elephant?